Oh yeah, the world is just filled with all kinds of weird creatures, not just bald YouTubers with big teeth. Really though, there are some legendary creatures that we've all heard of like the Bigfoot and the Yeti among others, and for the most part we just brush it off as fantasy. But what if it isn't just fantasy? What if some of the creatures of legend actually exist right now that are just waiting to be discovered? Here are 10 legendary creatures that might be real. Number 10 is the Mongolian Death Worm. There's good reason to think that the legendary Mongolian Death Worm might actually be real. The creature lives under the sands of the Gobi Desert in southern Mongolia and northwest China. Stories persist in these regions about a massive worm which can reach up to 1.5 meters in length. And unlike common earthworms, the Mongolian Death Worm has a thick body which pulsates as it moves. Ugh. It's called the Death Worm because it's so poisonous that even to touch it would mean a quick painful death. The first scientific record of this legendary creature goes back to 1926. Since then, several expeditions have invested time and money into finding the creature. Though a specimen hasn't been caught so far, the Gobi Desert is so vast that it could easily be hiding a death worm beneath its sands. Or two, or three, why don't you go for an adventure out there and find out? <laughs> Number nine are the big cats of Britain. Unlike North America and mainland Europe, Britain doesn't have any large predators. At least that's the official line. Many people believe that there are large unidentified cats prowling the moors and hills of the British countryside. Numerous sightings of these mysterious animals have been made going back to at least the 1760s. And some of these accounts are very recent and worrying. In 2000, a young boy in Monmouthshire was attacked by an unidentified large cat which left claw marks on his neck. And in 2005, a man was left with injuries all over his body from a similar incident. Some believe that these cats are breeding populations of pumas or panthers that have been released into the wild, while others suggest that it's not even a cat at all and that these dark shapes in the British countryside are something that science has never seen before. Okay, that affects my plans to go to the United Kingdom. Just gonna, just gonna change that to Italy. Number eight is the Megalania Prisca. The Aboriginal people of Australia have legends about some fearsome reptiles which once stalked the Australian outback. Not only have scientists found proof that these things were real, they might still be hiding in the Australian wilderness. The Megalania prisca is the largest land-dwelling lizard ever discovered. It reached a staggering seven meters long and could easily eat a whole human. Scientists estimate that it could run as fast as 10 kilometers per hour, and like the modern-day Komodo dragon, would be able to chase down large animals. The most recent fossil records suggest that the Megalania prisca existed around 50,000 years ago and could have been competing with human settlements in Australia at that time. Some even go further to suggest that this monstrous lizard is still out there and may actually explain why some backpackers go completely missing. Yeah, that's one explanation why people might go missing in the Australian outback. The other is um the other 100,000 freaky creatures that live there. Number seven is the Conga Motto. The Conga Motto is a legendary bird which eats explorers and even destroys small boats with people in them. Boats without people in them? They leave those alone. The first recorded description of the monstrous flying creature was back in 1923. It was described as being indigenous to the Congo and surrounding areas. With a wingspan of 1.5 meters, red and black in color, and its aggressive behavior against humans who happen to encroach upon its lands, it's unsurprising that there have been several recorded attacks. The most the intriguing case took place in the Bangalore swamps where a man was brutally attacked by the Kongamato. He had a severe chest wound and when asked to draw the creature, he drew something that looked more like a flying dinosaur than a bird. Some suggest that the elusive animal is therefore not a bird at all, but a flying reptile unknown to science. See this is why I don't leave the house, because some unknown flying reptile bird creature could just swoop down and pluck out my eye. Ka -ka! Number six is the tatzel worm. 
The tassel worm was thought to be nothing more than a myth, but with a series of recent sightings, it's now thought that the creature might really be out there. Found mainly in the Alps mountain range of Switzerland and surrounding countries, the tassel worm is said to be a reptilian creature with a cat-like head and spikes on its back. The creature hisses as it attacks and uses its venomous breath to incapacitate its prey. Then it feasts using its teeth which can easily tear through flesh. Uh -uh. The oldest recorded encounter goes all the way back to 1680 and there were a large number of sightings even in the 19th century. Amazingly, mountaineers and hikers in the area continue to claim that the animal exists and still stalks the slopes of the Alps waiting for its next meal. Look, I don't care if I was a hiker and I spent my entire life training to climb the Alps. If I saw that thing, I would tip the F off the mountain. Bye. Number five is the Mapping Guadi. The Mapinguati is a huge reptile found in South American folklore which is so well described that researchers are still out there looking for it. Also known as the Iznashi, the Mapinguati is described by Amazonian tribes as resembling a giant ape or sloth, but with reptilian skin and claws. Recent encounters with the animal have revealed that it has long powerful arms which can tear apart small trees in the forest. In your arms, right off your body! Able to walk on both four feet and two, the creature can stand over two meters tall and has a ferocious roar which terrifies every other living thing around it. Rawr, I'm a mapping Rawr. In 1937, a report stated that one of these creatures decimated a farm, killing over 100 cows during a three-week rampage. And in a more recent encounter, locals said that bullets could not penetrate its tough hide. That's one tough cryptid. Also, side note, who owned that farm? Like, really, if it took three weeks to go through a hundred cows. Here's an idea. Um, take some of the cows inside. What's wrong with people? Number four is Nessie. Ach, Nessie, you're out there somewhere! So sorry to all the Scottish people watching, that was a terrible accent. The Loch Ness Monster is world famous, but while many believe it to be a hoax, recent evidence actually suggests that it might be real. Descriptions of this creature, which lives in Loch Ness in Scotland, go all the way back to 565 AD. That's when St. Columbia used a Christian blessing to stop the beast from attacking people. Known fondly as Nessie, the Loch Ness Monster resembles a huge aquatic reptile which is now now extinct called the plesiosaur. With a long neck and flippers, a plesiosaur could reach 15 meters in length, which would actually match estimations of the sheer size of Nessie. While many believe that the legend of Nessie was slowly fading, 2017 had a huge surge of Nessie sightings. So much so that once again people are turning their eyes to the eerie stillness of Loch Ness and wondering what lies beneath. I.e. don't go swimming there because you gonna get chomped up. Mm -mm -mm. Number three is Bigfoot. Also known as Sasquatch, the legend of Bigfoot has captured the imaginations of people all over the world. Most sightings of this elusive creature suggest that it's either some sort of new ape or an animal more closely related to our species. Bigfoot stands 2.5 meters tall and is covered from head to toe in dark hair. While the animal has some similarities to a gorilla, it walks on two feet and exhibits human-like behavior. There have even been recordings made of two Bigfoot animals speaking in a strange language and numerous footprints have been found. While some believe that Bigfoot is just a myth, due to the size of its territory and the animal's reported practice of burying its dead and avoiding animals, we may yet find one of these huge creatures just roaming the forests of North America. We should look in Canada first because if we do find a Bigfoot in Canada, at least it'll be polite as it, as it eats you, eats your face. It'll say sorry afterward. Number two is the Kraken. The Kraken is the most ferocious sea creature in mythology. The first stories of this massive octopus-like animal were shared by sailors navigating the seas between Norway and Greenland. But accounts of this beast go back as far as the 13th century and describe a gigantic tentacled creature strong enough to pull a large ship under the waves. Descriptions put the Kraken around 12 to 15 meters in length, though there's debate about whether the Kraken is an octopus or a squid. Yeah, cause that matters 
features. One's definitely less terrifying than the other. <laughs> no. With huge spikes on its suckers of its tentacles and large hypnotic eyes, sailors were terrified of encountering this creature. As science has yet to explore the majority of oceans, with discoveries of huge marine animals like the colossal squid, it's easily possible that something as monstrous as the kraken lurks in the depths. And number one is the Yeti. The Yeti is a <laughs> ape-like creature which many believe roams the slopes of the Himalayas. The tribes of Tibet, Nepal, and Bhutan all have their stories of encountering the Yeti. These stretch back to before Buddhism became popular in the region over 1500 years ago. In the 18th, 19th, and 20th centuries, there were expeditions to the Himalayas to catch a specimen. Huge footprints were found in the snow and eyewitness testimonies from scientists and mountaineers alike suggests that there may be a large creature in the Himalayas that walks on two feet. Some believe this to be an undiscovered ape creature, while others suggest that it's a new species of bear, while the tantalizing possibility still exists that the Yeti is a yet-to-be-discovered hominoid, which hides itself away from 21st century humanity. I mean, if this thing's intelligent, can you really blame it? It's not exactly like we're gonna find it and be like, come on, let's have some tea, let's discuss the world. <laughs> Get the chains. Man, I I am telling you, there was some undiscovered ish in this world. It's freaking me out, man. And really, it makes a lot of sense. Less than, what, 5% of the ocean is discovered or something like that? Could you imagine what's at the bottom? <laughs> a giant squid will eat your face. I'm never going swimming again.